You lovely and splendid batch of motherfuckers out there know exactly how hyped up and psyched up I was for PT, aka Silent Hill. When that shit was unveiled to the entire world, we all got our hands on the demo and played the ever-loving fuck out of it. We got to see the next iteration and the evolution of what was going to be the Silent Hill series. One of the franchises that helped mold me into the gamer that you see today. Considering how much I I love Silent Hill, and considering that Silent Hill 2 is one of my all-time favorite games ever in existence, this was a big deal to me because it seemed like, oh wow, Silent Hill is right back on track. So no longer with all those haphazard, half-ass, and just honest to goodness fucking shit show releases that they had been releasing well after Team Silent was no longer working on the series, I was like, this is some shit that I've been wanting. Then Konami shit canned it. So that was reason enough for most people to just go into a fucking earth-shattering rage. Myself included and many of you out there. But what got to rise up from the ashes in gore-drenched splendor was Allison Road. We're talking about a project that was done up by one man. One man who put this shit together. We're talking about had the aesthetic down, had the feel down, had the atmosphere down, had the quality down. And it was one dude that put this shit together. So Christian Kessler should be really fucking proud of what he did. And the amount of momentum that he had behind him and the shit tons and shit tons of monumental support from the gaming community was out of control. So he got to team up with Team 17 as their developers, and they were going to work in tandem to make this game and put it out there. So they, they had the Kickstarter campaign, and then that got canceled. And it seemed like this shit was cursed. It just seemed like everything that was around it was fucking cursed. I had people asking me all the time, Alpha, talk about it, Alpha, talk about it. But all I could do is speculate, because Christian himself went out there and said, I'll talk about it in a couple days. Christian Kessler never ended up talking about it in a couple days, so I didn't want to make a video just speculating and assuming and just talking about something without having many facts or any kind of information whatsoever, other than just emotions of dread and anger and disgust and assuming Konami has to be behind us. It's the only thing that makes sense. And I still feel that way even right now. But the nice thing about it is the game is coming back. Allison Road is revived. We're talking about some necromantic abilities, bringing that shit back from the dead, some reagent. We can go and get Herbert West up in this bitch. And it's coming back, and it's under the title Far From Home. Now, this is coming back, but we don't have a ton of information about it. We do know one thing, that Christian Kessler is the only one working on this again. So Team 17 no longer in development, no longer affiliated or associated with the project whatsoever. It's just a solo project again, just like it started. So essentially, it's come full circle. Now, Far From Home, he had talked about how the project, Allison Road, got canceled. Some shit happened. He didn't go into detail. Again, we can just assume and speculate about what happened, why this shit happened. But he did say that he went through, he started reviving things, changing things, and just overall streamlining the game. I'm assuming that maybe there were some things that needed to be changed, and maybe there was some attorneys that came forward, some money cocks getting swung around. Who the fuck knows? Again, I just really feel like the only reason that this shit would have been canceled, and especially with the amount of money that they were getting for this Kickstarter campaign, and the amount of support, positive press... In addition, that they were getting for Allison Road, for it to just up and stop didn't make any sense. From a business standpoint, made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And this was a big time passion project, you can see that. You know, I was absolutely enthralled and amazed by it. I was just like, dude, I want to play the shit out of this. But Far From Home is going to be coming out. He didn't give a release date, he didn't give any insane details just saying exactly what's been changed, how it's been changed. I'm hoping that it's not changed to the point that this is going to end up feeling like an entirely different game, but considering the fact that I've seen what you can do, and I was impressed. I was thoroughly impressed given the time frame that this was put out. Keep in mind, the PT demo drops and not long after that, you had this demo up and running. That's kind of mind-blowing. And I know that a lot of people out there will go and say, well, Silent Hills wasn't actually going to play like the PT demo, which is true. 
Silent Hills was going to play very different from it, and PT was essentially an interactive demo, but what they didn't realize was PT for them was what a lot of people wanted. I mean, again, I I'm fine with the old school Silent Hill way of things because, well, that's what I was going to expect, but I liked what I was being given. And there are certain amounts of change and evolution with a franchise and series that aren't all that bad and doesn't necessarily mean that it's taking away from anything or it's losing sight or focus from what it started as. That shit just happens throughout all sorts of series, and it doesn't have to be relegated to strictly just spin-offs and shit like that. But Far From Home is on track. The only thing is, now I'm just wanting more information, because it's been such a long wait since the cancellation of the Kickstarter project. So, we had, it was just silence. Just absolute silence the entire time. So, while we had to sit there with dead air assuming the worst about it, all of a sudden, this revival. And he had, talked, he had talked to IGN about this, again, didn't give a shit ton of details, but it's kind of awesome to know that this shit's alive and well, and it's going on. So him and his wife are both business partners, are, are going to be working together, and he had said that, you know, he was talking about all the different things that he had worked on for Allison Road, just by himself. And he said tons of the framework is already there and done. He was doing a bunch of writing to go and change up some of the story, which with Allison Road, there really wasn't much I knew about the story to begin with. So any changes that he was going to make, I don't think are going to be exactly like insanely altering to what you're going to expect. You figure the premise of it being in a modern day neighborhood in a modern day home, that's still going to be there. It's still going to have that photorealistic uh, graphics that you see that are really fucking startling when you see that shit in motion. And it's just, it's, it fucks with you. PT was the same exact way. I mean, I was blown away when I had seen all that shit. I was just like, wow. Like, I try not to be one of those big time fucking graphics sounds, but when you see shit that's kind of, you know, pushing the boundaries of what you come to expect out of things visually and you see that shit, I mean, you get impressed, and it doesn't happen with me a whole lot nowadays because, well, I can be impressed with an art style. Art styles in general are something that can stand the test of time, but things that are going for photorealism, those ones can become outdated rather quickly. So, you know, something like when Doom 3 came out, that shit looked realer than anything I had seen before. Then the 360 dropped, and then there was games looking way more realistic than that. And I was just like, damn, well, I was really impressed with Doom 3, but then Condemn came out. By the way, Sega should make more Condemn games. I fucking love them. Another survival horror series. But I just, I, I don't trust the Silent Hill franchise in the hands of somebody like Konami because, I mean, they're a walking, talking fuck-up machine as far as I'm concerned, and they'll piss away any and all amounts of good press any amounts of just, well, legacy that a franchise will have, they're just, again, they're a fuck-up. So, far from home. I can't wait to go and see more. I'm hoping at some point that he ends up releasing maybe a gameplay video, something that's an update. Trust me, people are interested, people care. They were really behind Allison Road. I hope news like this gets out there for anybody that is a survival horror fan and was psyched up about Allison Road. Share this shit out and let people know you know, uh, the interview and shit, all the little snippets are in the description if you want to go and check that shit out directly. All I know is I'm fucking happy. I'm glad this shit isn't dead because that's what I was assuming. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, Nerds to Nerds and Gamers Game. The fuck off!